Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several space weather items to cover. We're going to take a look at the interstellar object that is being discussed as a potential alien ship, and we'll see a fantastic study on lightning to follow up yesterday's record lightning reports. But here, we've got the last 24 hours on our star, where there remains a lack of high eruptive potential. Sunspots don't have the juice. Plasma filaments are staying mostly stable. No noteworthy eruptive activity. We're going to go over some of these and let's begin with the solar wind. All quiet the last 24 hours, geomagnetic conditions in geospace region are calm at the moment with all solar wind telemetry within the normal range of ambient background conditions. The sunspots are few and while one group is fairly well sized, there's an enormous gulf between the leading and trailing spots. As always, we'll watch their morphing and shifting in case they gain complexity today. And folks, we peeked at this yesterday. Now left side of the incoming limb, the dark area we can see now is in fact a sizable coronal hole that will become more visible by tomorrow and will face Earth directly this coming week. Let's go now to the interstellar object. It was several weeks ago we first reported Avi Loeb from Harvard's paper saying, hey, this thing might be aliens. And since then, I have been shocked to see how many news stories have come out about that particular hypothesis, more than the real science about the object itself, if we're being honest. Now, on top of the fact that Avi is at Harvard, which hasn't been super trustworthy of late, and given the fact that he falls into the noticing category, and yes, he is, we have Hubble snapping two shots here that seem to indicate, no, that's, that's just a comet. Panchromatic view from Gemini shows the exact same thing. This is what almost every comet ever has looked like. I'd love to see a giant alien ship as much as the next guy, but right now we've got enough information to say that everything about it looks like a comet. If you don't remember, by the way, Avi said this same alien stuff about Oumuamua when it came through two years ago. It's kind of just what Avi does. Top story today, Penn State team finds that lightning initiation and eventual power, duration, and length of a bolt is based on electric field strength within the thundercloud. This was long thought to be the case, but it was never proven until now. But now, with this knowledge, and with the knowledge that space weather dramatically impacts atmospheric electric fields, we know that the dozens of studies on solar forcing of lightning are real, and that the increased solar forcing amidst the ongoing magnetic pole shift will bring greater and greater flashes and super bolts. Folks, here's the rest of the August schedule at Observer Ranch. Next weekend is the prepping all day event that is our top rated event so far when we ran it about two months ago. Full pole shift conference day on the 23rd and then there's a lot more happening the rest of the year as well. Highly recommend the September events and stay out at the ranch with us during the Colorado Prepper Expo in October. It's just a skip away. Check out the event list and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.